Have you seen the girl in the green dress? Oh, uh, Auburn hair. Nice figure about a stop? Yeah. Oh, nope. Sorry, man. I haven't seen anyone like that. All right, thanks. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. My apologies. I said I was sorry. I need a lover. You want me to be your lover? I'll pay you $10,000 every single time we go out. Don't try and scam me, dude. Just because I'm broke doesn't mean I'm stupid, too. My name's Shannon, Nathan Shannon, from the Shannon Corporation. I can assure you, this offer is legitimate. The multi-billion dollar fortune 500 Shannon Corporation? Yes. What, what exactly does the esteemed <clears throat> Mr. Shannon need in a lover? I need a man to act like one and to sometimes trick certain people into thinking that I am indeed not available. <clears throat> you had me at trick people. Mr. Shannon, Caroline, daughter of William Vanderbilt. She's gonna arrive any minute. What did I say about keeping my grandmother's speed dating on my calendar? Hey, Would Chen. you like to find another executive to assist? No, I do not, Mr. Chen. Nathan. Caroline. Do you like this, Steve? Oh, this, um, my, my business partner. You know, Nathan, there are rumors about you. something right here. Do you mind if I am? Uh, right there, oh. on top, right? Oh. There we go. Great, much better. Maybe I'll 
make a mess of my face more often. This is insane. You are gay and you're still trying to marry girls. I'm gonna tell the whole world who you really are. Sorry. How's my acting, boss? Decent. Well, if you have any tips, I'm all ears. Doctor, I have enough for my grandpa's surgery this Commission. month. Gaines, as I've told you before, the cost of continued care is substantial. I would suggest- Please! I won't give up on him. I'll figure it out. Nathan Shannon. Counting on you. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any more gigs like yesterday? I've been working on my acting jobs. Not at the moment. We shared a moment of affection, didn't we? That was business. Nothing else. Well, you know. When we kiss. Wow. Mr. Shannon is. He does sound that way. Does that not his thing? Please. Keep your distance from me. You will never be fit to be my employee, and that's final. Nathan! Sono tornato da Italia. Did you miss me? Are you still looking for a personal assistant? Well, good news. I have graciously decided to take on the position. Um, Vivian, no. Actually, I have one. Harold is your executive assistant, Celie. Someone as successful as yourself should have a personal assistant as well. Actually, I have one. It's him. Mr. Shannon, I thought I wasn't good enough to be your employee. Well, you're not. But you do possess one unique advantage. What might that be? You're a man. Jesse? That is you! Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? And, and why are you dressed like that? I mean, this is so. I'll explain later. You just, you're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you are my boss's new personal assistant. And as a dude. <laughs> oh, it's all for my grandpa's medical bills. Hey, at work, mm -hmm. can you act like you don't know me? Just in case. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tighter. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, your hair.
My, my sincerest apologies, Mr. Shannon. Let me, let me wipe that off. <clears throat> No, 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 don't, don't touch that. No, hey. no, no, seriously. I can handle it, and you can leave. I can handle it, and you can leave. It's just a jar of paint. Of course, boss. Take this. Don't forget about me. I'll come back for you one time, though. I'll find you, Starline. I'll find you, Starline. <clears throat> what are you doing? Creep? This is the this is a woman's bathroom. Oh, come on. Let's go. Shh. Come on, kid. This is just the next. Shy turtle. Excuse me. Insecure about your size. Oh. It's all good. It's not about the size of the ship. It's about the motion of the ocean, and that's what the ladies care about. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, I just, I, I just get insecure around other men, especially men who were so well. Could we, could we perhaps avoid sharing restroom visits in the future? Yeah, no, no problem. Thank you so much. me to step in as manager. She wants me to help assist in the day-to-day -day operations. Okay, we don't need a Also, manager. I'm hosting a party tonight to get to know everyone from the office, and you must come. Uh, Vivian, it's Mr. Uh, Shannon at work. Uh, okay, great. Fine. But if you don't show, I'm telling Grandma. I'll go. I'll go. Just leave, please. Good. Make sure Mr. Shannon does not show tonight. that you don't know, but just keep him sober. No matter what. Write it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this paragraph needs to be a read. Okay, I'll write that down, sir. Jesse, stay in your lane. Okay, Nathan and I are practically engaged, and you're just a lowly employee. But I thought Mr. Shannon shouldn't drink. He's a grown man. He'll be fine. Well, he should at least know if he's drinking. <sighs> you are just an expendable employee. Money is your real boss. After he drinks that, take him to this room. Do it, and there's plenty more where that came from.
Choosing it ready for? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Good little soldier. Sorry, I, that was that was a poop. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I, that was that was a poop. Are you here? Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, you were really drunk last night. I took care of you. You were, you were a lot to deal with. <laughs> well, last night, but I don't remember anything from last night. God. You two slept together last night? I, I guess so. I... Huh. Very well. Miss, Miss White. Is that what you think? Nothing happened between us. Is this how you do your job, Jesse? I was waiting for you in room 606 all night. Wait, 
606? It was supposed to be room 909. Not the brightest bulb, are you, Jesse? <laughs> Is what I, I was wrong. Can I still keep the ring? What a waste. <laughs> Miss White. I heard that he's the reason why Mr. Shannon isn't there. What? He will pay dearly. 